Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be making some mini egg donuts. So these are baked donuts. They're my most favorite baked donut recipe. Oh my god, like you will not be able to stop at one donut. And they are filled and topped with mini eggs. Because I don't know about you, but I'm always so obsessed with mini eggs during Easter. So let's get started. So first we're going to whisk together some flour, baking powder, and salt in a small bowl and set that aside. In a large bowl, combine some butter, sugar, honey, and egg and vanilla extract. And I'll have all the quantities listed in the description box down below, so don't worry, everything is written down there for you. Add some buttermilk and mix until combined. And if you don't have buttermilk candy, I'll link a video in the cards here that I made to show you how to make homemade buttermilk at home. Then add the dry ingredients and in some crushed mini eggs and mix until just combined, making sure not to overmix. Spoon the batter into a piping bag and pipe the batter into a greased donut pan. And I'll link a donut pan down below if you don't have one. I like using a piping bag just because it makes it nice and clean, but you don't have to. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 7 minutes, then cool for 1 minute in the pan, and then flip the pan over to remove the donuts and cool completely on a wire rack. To make the glaze, you want to whisk together some whipping cream and some confectioner's sugar until combined. Add the vanilla extract and whisk to combine. Then pour one tablespoon of glaze into a small bowl and dye it brown. You want to add like another dash or so of whipping cream to that just to thin it out a little bit. Then divide the remaining glaze into three bowls and dye it pale blue, pale pink, and pale yellow. Dunk two donuts each into the blue, pink, and yellow glaze. You're going to have two donuts per color. And place them on a wire rack. Then dip a fork into the brown glaze and kind of splatter it onto the donuts to create a speckled egg pattern. Then allow the glaze to dry for about 30 minutes. Then place a chocolate button in the center of each donut or literally any kind of sweet thing that will fill the donut hole. <laughs> then you want to grab a cheese grater and grate a chocolate bar on it to the center of the donuts to create like a little nest effect. Then fill the nest with plenty of mini eggs. So the little thing that we're filling the middle of the donuts with is going to be used to support the mini eggs. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for something to fill the donuts. And you are done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this recipe. If you have requests for other donut recipes, let me know in the description box down below. Or not the description box, um, the cards. I'm like, you guys can't edit the description box. I don't know. Um, and I'll also have a playlist linked in the cards for you of other donut recipes I've done because I have a ton on my channel. So if you're looking for some other recipes, definitely check it out. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.